right. Let me get this straight. So, right now, I'm going to do my ham radio adventure because finally there's a decent day. Okay, right here we have the Bioleno power, which I use. It has an AC type adapter here. I use that to power like my my maybe my camera radio my audio right here, or it has USB in the front. This thing is very good for auxiliary things. You know, it can be used for the radio, but I bring it along for the cameras and the audio type stuff. Okay, I've got my tiny Bioleno power here because I'm doing tiny power bungee cord, very thin coax course my notepad and space pen then let's take a look in the box over here we have the kx2 the pico paddle and the very pack tenant that's all i have it all pretty much fits in to the backpack i always tie it up before i leave from the last trip so i'm all good here I like to let out some slack so I know for sure it's not going to get caught up. And then I put it back in. See, this could get all caught up when you throw it. So I always do this once. Learn my lesson. You do this, and then you put it back in, and then you throw it. I only need 30 feet. That's 30 feet up, maybe 30 feet down, 60 feet. I don't need all of it. All right, so I feel good about this, so I'm going to put this back and then throw into a tree. Now, as I've mentioned before, I like to do the cradle method. And all you do is you bring the rope through here, and now you get like a cradle. And it's easy to throw it like that. You can also create a little knot over here. Nothing like the first throw, man. Sometimes it takes like five throws. Now, I may have gone a little too far, but I went up over there, then it went way out, so I'm good. Okay, so we got our pack tenna here. I'm gonna unwind it and get it set up right here first. That way when you pull it and pull tension on it, it will just be ready to go. The sun is already dropping behind the clouds behind me and I mean the trees and it's already getting chilly like fast. It was hot not too long ago now I'm getting chilly already. One contact man that's all I need to be a success. Well just getting outside is a success. That setup went fairly smoothly. It didn't always go like that. Usually you might forget something. Usually I have to throw I have to throw the antenna like four times. Every time you throw it, you gotta bring it back down and reset it. It takes a lot of time to do that. So it's really nice that there's no leaves. I can see the branches really well. Alright, so this goes to the Pactenna. Obviously. And it's a tune right up, man. Tune right up. Whoa, holy cow, that's loud. One, two to one. 14060, let's just give it a try.
I just can't hear him, man. He's too weak.
Okay, that was Pennsylvania. Um, I had a really hard time. It, he faded out, and then I just got a couple letters. He faded out again, so I'm going to keep going and try to get one, at least one good one. I'm having, having people hear me, but then it drops out, you know, or I don't understand something. Come on, man. It is starting to get a little bit dark and I've got more work to do. I've got more filming to do, so I'm going to pack it up. I made three contacts today, but I don't feel good, very, very good about any of them. I, messed, I made a mistake on almost every one. I need to practice. I just get a little distracted. People drive by, people walk by, they look at me and my mind just goes over there and then I look down here at the wrong thing and oh man, what a mess. I got to practice.